You guys, it's here finally. America Truck Simulator Washington DLC is here, and we're going to take our first look. And this morning, they also announced another DLC on the side that you can get now. I'm so excited. It's called the Forestry DLC. Actually, let me make sure I... Forest Machinery DLC, to be precise, which allows you to haul all sorts of different things for the uh, logging that you can do in this game. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. It has just finished downloading, and so we are pretty much ready to go in to play some American Truck Simulator. You guys are awesome. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Thanks to David Brooks and Dean Tari. Thank you very much, guys, for clicking and tapping that join button. I'm going to be playing this all day today. We're going to do a few hour stream, and then I'm going to take a break and come back because there's a lot to see as we're now moving into Washington State. I'm going to also see what trucks are new to. I know there's a new uh, vanilla truck that's in there, and so some of my mods might be broken, so we'll see what we can do. So let's get right into it then. You click the like button. Well, thank you very much, General Fox. So that's very nice of you. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. All right, the game's starting up now, so let's get into it. <clears throat> Just had to finish the update and everything like that. So we are good to go. Woo! All right. Uh, no, actually, Jacob Hood, the DLC just came out a few minutes ago. Your message earlier was way too early. Speed Humps, thank you very much for the $1. Appreciate that. All right, game updated to a new version. Mods are probably all broken like crazy, so that's okay. We won't worry about that too much. We'll probably just play vanilla because a lot of this stuff might have uh, broken. Not a lot, but hey, never donated before? Well, that was nice of you. Thank you very much, Speed Humps. That's very cool. Okay, let's get into the DLC and find out what's new. Let's go trucking. It's going to be awesome. Woo! All right. Well, there we go. Yeah, so the Forest Machinery DLC is here too. So since we own our own, uh, uh, our own logging company now, that is it. Right, I'm also going to have to get some music going, I think, for our uh, trucking. I guess maybe we'll skip without the music a little bit and see how things are going. Fast CSX, thank you very much for the $4.99. That is awesome. Thanks for fueling up the truck. You guys are great. Oh, good. We actually have our modded truck, but I think we're going to go and see what's new for our regular truck. So let's take a look at the map and find out where we are. Oh, right. So since the version... Oh, oh, there we go. That's it. Look at it. Oh, that's it. Look at all those locations. Wow. Washington is really interconnected. Look at this. Kennewick, y uh, Yakima, Vancouver, Longview, Aberdeen, Tacoma, Olympia, Port Angeles, uh, Seattle, Everett, Bellingham, Omak. Colville, Spokane, Grand Coulee. Oh, that's where the new dam is, too. Wenatchee. I think I got them all. Wow. That is awesome. And I think there's also been some new routes added, perhaps, in Oregon, too, as part of the DLC. I don't know if that road was there before the 58. I'm not sure. I don't... I don't maybe. Wow. That is awesome. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is uh, go buy a new truck, one of the vanilla trucks. And there's a lot of new stuff here, too. You can now purchase garages online. So if you want to buy a garage, you can just do it and teleport there. So if you have enough money, you can go right to Seattle, for example, and purchase and then spawn right there. So if you want to do that, you can. So that's an awesome thing. Very, very cool. So I am playing with mods on, so keep in mind that a lot of this stuff is active. I think we should probably disable that so we can kind of get a look at the DLC without too much uh, interference. So I'm going to go back to the profile and turn off all my mods except for, you know what, yeah, I'm going to turn them all off. And then uh, we'll come back and play some more. So we're going to disable all the mods. So that way we can play full vanilla. We're going to confirm change. We'll come back later. It'll break some of our trucks, but that's okay. Because we want to see what's all new in vanilla. Let's make sure we do that. Plus, also, I think because the DL... Uh, since a lot of the mods are probably not updated... Um, it's You're probably not going to be able to... They probably won't work right anyway. Okay, good. Game change detected, etc., etc. Mr. Uh, Reg Sauce, thank you very much for the $1. Let's take a look at uh, the new truck and dealerships then. Uh, so we're in Vegas now. I have a garage in Portland, so I can teleport up to Portland. And then we can cross right over into Vancouver, Longview, wherever. So let's go take a look and see what's new for uh, truck dealers. And I think there's a new... V I thought there was like some new trucks you could get. According to what I understand, let's go to... Visit selected dealer. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, eventually I'm going to uh, go back to modded trucks and everything like that for my modded company. But I wanted to see if there was anything new. Uh, my daughter is watching. Would you mind say, hey, Lucy. Hey, Lucy. How you doing? Hi there. Welcome. Good to see you. All right. Let's visit the other selected dealer. You subscribed? Yes. Anybody who subscribes, name should pop up on the screen. Just like if somebody drops a super chat too. Same thing will happen there. 
All right, so I heard that there's, um, maybe it's not in just yet, but I did hear that the, uh, I think there was a Cascadia truck here and a few other vehicles as well. I, I know my beauty, the Mac R that I love is not, uh, not, uh, fully updated, so that, that one I definitely want to do. But, uh, we've turned off all mods for now just so we can see it in its vanilla format. Okay, I think they gave us a truck then just for mods. I don't see anything new. We're supposed to have Western Star, but I don't see any of those dealerships or I perhaps haven't unlocked those dealerships. Maybe that's it because there's still a few locations. Anywhere with a question mark means that there's a dealership there. So I may have not found it obviously because, you know, it's new. So how could I have, how could I have seen that yet? Okay. So what we'll do is we'll take our current truck then, which is a Peterbilt day cab. And let's see what else I have for trucks. Let's see. Uh, truck. There's so many new options. Look at all these cool options here. The garage purchase. I don't remember seeing the vehicle browser. I think that's new too. I don't I don't think you were able to do that before. Apparently we have a Kenworth now. But then when we go back, it's a Peterbilt. I must have two different trucks then based off of... Oh yeah, okay. Because these were modded trucks, so it probably just gave me back the original. Okay, so we have a Peterbilt 389 with zero miles on it. And then of course this one here is our... I believe that's our Mac R that's broken for the time being. Just because of the... You know, it's new. So let's teleport up there and let's get trucking. Let's go uh, up to Portland, and we will begin our journey. Uh, quick travel. We'll go to Portland, then we'll cross over to the Washington border. That's going to be awesome. So uh, so we've turned off all mods. We should have enough money, hopefully, to buy a garage in Washington somewhere. Let's see what we got for cash. 180. Okay, so we should get a job going up there. All right, it is nighttime, so you know, you know what that means. We can't... Can't play the game without it being nighttime. All right, let's see where we can go. Oh, yeah, Olympia we can go up to. I want to try to do some logging. Oh, here's the new uh, uh, the trailer haul that you can do. Oh, right up into Tacoma. Oh, wow, look at that. That's a heavy cargo, high-value cargo, urgent, fragile, and articulated. Wow, it doesn't get more specialized than that, does it? That is amazing. Yeah, ATS is on sale right now. Go to Steam if you want to... See more information about how much and if it's available now and stuff. I literally just bought mine, so... Okay, there's some good stuff here. I think we can get started with... Uh, I don't know if my truck's more powerful enough to haul that uh, articulated trailer, but that seems like a good one. That is 57,000 pounds. And I don't know what our truck is... Uh, I don't know what our truck is rated at, but I think that would be a good initial haul for us. So let's head up there. Um, let's see. Engine power... Well, it's not very optimized for heavy cargo, but it's not too bad. But let's go ahead and get started anyway. If we had a different truck, it would probably be a little bit better. You know, our modded trucks. New subscriber shout-out. Yasin, thanks for subbing. Okay. Oh, parking brake's on. And, of course, it's nighttime, as you would expect. Yep, 11 p.m. Makes sense, doesn't it? It's always a nighttime stream. Okay. Oof, and I gotta reset, like, the, uh, the, uh, mirrors and everything on this. Oh, also, I think we might be playing in DirectX 11, although I may have not actually turned that on. So I think once we pick up our cargo, maybe I'll do a reset and see how it looks. We can have a comparison between this and DirectX 11, which apparently makes everything look a little nicer. So first we gotta pick up our cargo, and then we're crossing the river and going right into, uh, Washington State. My god, I'm excited. Oh, also we should have our lights on. <laughs> there we go. Wow, it feels weird to drive a vanilla truck again. The mods handle much differently. And where's my button to go into... Wait, what? Wait a minute. Or low. That's weird. Does it. What's the transmission on this truck? Only four gears? Where's the rest of my gears? I might have to, uh. Might have to reset the shifter again or something. Might be set for the other trucks. We'll see. Yeah, Christian, if you were paying attention to the stream. I just said that. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Did we just cross? I don't know if we were able to go there before. Oh, I think this was still part of the Oregon DLC, because we got to go up to five. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I only, apparently I only have a few gears. We'll figure that out in a minute. Oh, driving vanilla trucks is so strange to do this again. Yeah, Pickle Pines. I guess we're doing a scouting mission for Pickle Pines since, you know, mods are kind of broken at the moment. The Scott actually worked, so we could drive that truck again, but I just want to make sure that we show the DLC in its, you know, kind of like realistic format. So if I had a lot of mods on and stuff, that wouldn't, that wouldn't work right. Don't, I'm not really sure how to, oh, and I missed the turn there. I'm trying to get the uh, truck to go into a higher gear than four high, but apparently I can't do that because... Oh, yeah. I guess we'll head across first and see what's on the other side. But it's nighttime as usual, so it's... Swipes all of the glory. Oh, wow. Hmm. It's not going between high and low gear either. There it goes. Huh, that's weird. The modded trucks uh, handle much differently than the vanilla trucks, that's for sure. Okay, now we're over in Washington. It's not daytime yet, so we'll have to wait. So I guess this is a little bit of a preview. Wow, this is interesting. How am I supposed to see the light, by the way? You can't even see the turn signal, or the turn light. You're going to have to stop, like, back there. Alright, so we are technically in uh, Washington right now. But we're going to pick up our cargo. So far, so good. I like it. There we go. Alright, welcome again to all the new subscribers. Welcome, everybody. Good to see you all here. Thanks to all the super chats, and welcome to the new members, too. You guys are great. Thanks again for all the uh, support and everything. It's awesome. Alright, let's go back and pick up our cargo now. Hopefully the, uh, it'll be daytime soon. We're already looking at, uh, 12 a.m., so it shouldn't be too long until we see the sun come up. All right, we're going to have to exit left. Oof, this truck, I'm going to have to get the seat adjusted. As we were playing with a modded truck, it gave me a vanilla truck again just to drive around with. We'll have to take a look at the Western Stars and some of the other stuff this evening, but right now we're just kind of... Going to kind of drive around a little bit, too. Awesome. I 
Yeah, maybe this is as many gears as we got with this transmission. I guess that's why it's higher rated for normal cargo. Okay, so we're exiting here for Vancouver. Hi, Fanny. How you doing? Oh, we want to stay left. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Joseph. Thanks for the five. First Super Chat. Loving the streams. Keep it up. Yeah. All right. Will do. We got new trailers to see. So much new with the 1.35 update. So much new with the Washington DLC. And then, of course, the forestry. DLC, too, with a lot of new cargo for that forest machinery DLC, which is great because that's what I wanted to do. Own a logging company. Can't wait to get that Mac R rolling. Come on, son. Let's move. There we go. No, no, no. I'm going through. There we go. Apparently, they've also adjusted light times, too, I think. All right, let's pick up this new cargo and see how it works. All right. No time. Get moving. Everybody's got to get moving their vehicle. AI is so realistic in this game. Got to get moving. Come on. We got to go. You have an exam tomorrow, but you're watching? That's awesome. That's dedication, man. Excellent. Yeah, the yellow lights are a little longer now, so that's nice. By default. They were quite short before, so that's very nice. That's a good update. Alright, so now we're at the Kenworth factory, picking up a bunch... Uh-oh. A Peterbilt is hauling a bunch of Kenworths. Oh, boy. Alright, we... Oh, there's a deal... This is a dealer, too. So not only can we pick up cargo from here, but we can also modify trucks and do other things. Cool. I should have also taken a look at external... Cargo, but this is awesome, because look at this one. It is a heavy cargo that is a high value, urgent delivery, fragile, and articulated, and we are going to have to deliver that for 12000 Not too bad. Very nice. All right. Did I set that as... Did I accept that cargo, or what? Make sure. Oh, we can actually modify the cargo. Oh, no, you can't. It's only one... What does that do? Let you change the color of the truck? Ah, oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Fantastic. What's up, JJ? Okay, let's go pick up these trucks. I'm assuming we have to go through the service entrance? Oh, there they are right there. Do I just back in? I guess we'll go through and... Well, that is super narrow. All right, that's a new thing in the game, too, to be able to transport trucks like that. That's really cool. Is that a... I think that's a glitch. No, it's not. Because we have a day cab. I was like, why can we see through the... What I should have done, maybe, is come through the other side and just backed it in. Stop here. We'll straighten out a little bit. Okay. All right. Oh, look. You can see chocks underneath the uh, tires, too. A oh. little bit on the curb. Better straighten her out again. Don't want to. Definitely don't want to go any further than that. There we go, that's better. Woo! Awesome. Hopefully this uh, semi has enough power to haul this. We'll see. Alright, we are on our way. All right. On our way to Washington now, to Tacoma, our first haul. 
so cool that you can actually buy garages now from the uh, the internet. Like you can you can just click, hey, I'd like to buy this garage, and then just teleport there. That makes things a lot easier. Yeah, we're heading up to Tacoma now in Washington. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Our first cargo. Woo! And it is a big, expensive boy. And apparently articulated too, yeah, so that last truck swings out a little bit. Hard to see. I apologize for nighttime, but there you go. Hey, Raptor, where'd you get that garage on the internet? That's true, though. Now, one thing I will say about the vanilla trucks, though, is that it's a lot easier to read the uh, dashboard and everything in these trucks. Greetings from Stuttgart. Well, hello. Oh, gonna have to get in the left lane right away, too. Alright, before we go any further, I do need to make some adjustments to the seat and everything like that, so let's take care of that. Now, one thing I will say is that I'm probably going to end up uh, doing most of my hauls in the Mac R. So we're, we'll be seeing uh, some of the DLCs today too. Remember, there's two DLCs uh, now that there's the Forestry Machine, Forestry Machines DLC, and then of course the uh, wonderful DLC for Washington too. Now if we use a cab over, that'd be a mod, and mods probably aren't going to work right now for ATS because the uh, DLC just came out. It's really hard to see lights in this game. You have to switch to a different view just to see the light. Oh, also, I'm way over the line. That would be, uh, that'd explain that. But yes, I'm going to be using a Mac R and uh, so many other mods and stuff when we can fully play this. Like when more of the mods have updated. That's the only problem about new mods, or new DLCs that come out. Breaks all the mods. So, hopefully they'll be fixed in a few days. Whoa! And we'll have to get used to driving that. <laughs> it's an articulated trailer. This is a new one. I've not driven this before. How does it work exactly? Let's see how it... Oh, I see. It's articulated. Is it just the end that's articulated? Okay, we'll have to see how that works. Well, practice will make perfect. I wonder if there's new articulated trailers with the Forestry Machines DLC too. That's going to be really cool. Luckily, we'll make plenty of money from the uh, from the cargo. And I can't wait to see what we get in Washington, too. There's some specific DLC cargo that you can haul, and that's going to be awesome. All right, now we can officially go across the bridge. Here we go. This is awesome. Oh, I moved the seat back, and I still can't really see out the window. Oh, well. All right, boys. This is now our official cross into Washington. Yay! Oh, yeah, I was so excited I honked the horn. Uh-oh, is that light yellow? New subscriber shout out. Hold on, thanks for seven. Oh, Jesus. Wait, actually. Wait, wait. Oh, come on, game. What the f... Wait a minute. It just put these bars down out of nowhere. Did you just see those spawn in? You get an achievement. If you stop on that lift bridge, you get an achievement for that. For, uh, you get a uplifting experience achievement or something, so I was going for it. But those two snapped right in. Aw, that sucks. Not only did I miss the achievement, but also <laughs> the uh, bars popped out of nowhere. Come on, now. Yeah, so keep in mind, you get a, a steam achievement. If you if that light turns yellow and you go out onto the uh, lift platform, you get an achievement for that. So you're kind of supposed to do it at least once. Hello, Christopher. How you doing, dude? They need to add Microsoft in Seattle? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, there goes the boat through the uh, 
through the crossing. That's awesome. Hopefully these things uh, actually raise properly when they when they go up. But you'll see the platform of the bridge come back down right about now. Oh, that's cool. Big boat going through there. And if you stop on that platform, you get an achievement. I gotta go for that once. I was trying to. I was gonna. I was like, oh, I wanna. I wanna try to get that achievement, but nope. And I see there seems to be two levels of. Uh, there seems to be two rails. Both here, and then I think some more up there too, just in case you get stopped in between. Welcome to the new subscribers. You guys are great. Oh, okay. So they actually come down. I was hoping that they didn't just like disappear. All right, let the traffic flow again. That's going to be awesome. So here's where the platform is. So if you can stop on that, you get an achievement. We'll have to go for it sometime. Come on, sir, let me in. There we go. Okay. While we're here, we'll have to buy a garage at some point. We certainly have the uh, lighter transmission, too. More for the daytime hauls. Yeah, once we get and drop off our first cargo, we should be able to see it in daytime. So daytimes are coming. And we'll also see the game in DirectX 11. So right now we're in DirectX 10. And I'm going to try the experimental mode after this one try to see how big the difference is. So that way we can compare day and night. During the uh, DirectX 10. And then we'll try day and night during DirectX 11. See how big of a difference it truly is. Man, this feels so different. I've put so many hours into my Mac R. Feeling, driving this regular Peterbilt. Oh, cool. Auto signs. Drive safely, obey speed limit. Well, I'll not be doing either of those things. Non-police officer sign. Wow, that's beautiful. Cool bridge there. That was great. Rush Road, one mile. Now, apparently there's new uh, truck stops and everything like that, too. And I think those might be coming up. A lot of the, oh, okay. Not a lot of those trucks were coming to a stop. Anonymous, thanks for subbing. Yep, customer expects the delivery soon. Oh, we're never going to get anywhere at this pace. So nice. Now you can drive from like literally... What, San Diego all the way up to... What's the furthest north location in Washington? We'll take a look at the map. But that is that is a long haul, man. <gasps> is that the state capitol building? Wow. That looks like the state capitol. Oh, that must be. Wow. Or my future house. That is amazing. That looked beautiful. Portland is as far as it gets. Oh, wait, what is this? There is an unexpected event on your route. Manual adjustment of navigation is strongly recommended. Uh-oh. The police got somebody pulled over. 
All right, we'll manually adjust then. We'll just drive past it over this way. Cool. Well, now with the Washington DLC, the north, the furthest north we can go in Washington is finally to the border of Canada with Bellingham. That is the most furthest north point we can go. Bellingham all the way down to San Diego. Wow. And as far south as it goes is Nogales. But you could you could literally go from Bellingham all look at all those cities through here too. This is my favorite highway in the game. I cannot I cannot wait to start like doing logging and things like that. I like I just want to haul logs between Oregon and Washington. That's all I want to do. Drive the Mac R, and of course, that's exactly what this is meant for because they also put in the Forestry Machinery DLC, which we're playing with too, although we're not hauling anything at the moment. But we will take a look and see what else is new. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to see all what's new in ATS. Finally, today is the big day. This is awesome. I'm going to be playing this into the weekend too until we unlock every single uh, city and then, of course, um, try to get all the garages too. Do, 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 do. All right. What does this sign say now? Obey speed limit, drive safely, don't drink and drive. Well, yeah, those are pretty good notes. Okay, well, there's probably going to be mods for that now. I hope they have that in California too. I hope they added that to all of the, um, all the states. Oh wow, what is that? Cool, the Big O Dome. Railstar, thanks for the thousand uh, one, I believe it is. Thank you very much. Very nice, of you. Oh man, look at how beautiful this is. Oh, and it's morning time. Uh, people are suspecting that the next DLC could be Texas. I certainly think it's probably the most interesting of the states that they haven't yet visited, but are that are directly connected. Let's try to go into third gear. There we go. Yeah, the great thing is, is when they add more things to the game uh, in vanilla, then they can be modded, so they can absolutely add... Uh, some fun f signs and things like that. Oh, this must be the port that we're going to. We're shipping out these trucks to somewhere else in the U.S. Yeah, if Texas is a DLC, it's going to be big. There's a lot of big uh, big cities, and then, of course, there's the massive expanse of western Texas. And then, oh, maybe they'll, ha oh, they'll have to do something for, like, oil. Like the oil industry. They'll have to have some special cargo. They always seem to add something new. You know, it's not just like new state. There's always like a few more things that they add that's new every time. So that's awesome. Yeah, I hope they add Canada at some point. Even though it's called American Truck Sim. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Because it'd be cool to see some border crossings. It'd be cool to go to Canada and see some Canadian cities. Game Warrior, thanks for seven. Alright. Found our first city in the Evergreen State. Man, what a city. Wow, are those cars down there? Look at that. That is awesome. Are those all for export, or is that people uh, going to work? Oh, that'd be so cool if those were all export vehicles. That is amazing. Wow. Okay. Are we supposed to turn there? Or here? Oh, you can actually make turns on either... What was the point of that side road? Hold on a second. Let me take a look down there just to see. Oh, sorry. Sorry, ma'am. I was just kind of <laughs> kind of getting my bearings here because this is completely different. So they seem to have a side road for trucks to exit? to get a Oh, to get them off the main road, maybe. So that way if there's a, uh, a line of cars or something like that. Hey, sorry, everybody. Back it up. First day. First day in a new DLC. <laughs> that is so cool. 
So they must make that side road for overflow, so that way when trucks are coming in here and getting checked in, there's not like a huge line of vehicles. That is awesome. All right. Let's get checked in here. Where would you like the cargo? There? Okay. We're close to 500,000 subscribers. I know. It's awesome. Thank you, everybody, for the support. All right. Forgive me of my bad driving today. I'm, I'm, like, excited. I'm looking around at all the sights and sounds. I'm, like, just... I'm just, like, thrilled. I'm having a moment right now. Are we truly supposed to stop here? What does that say? Stop for... What does that say? Stop at line until... Oh, stop it at line until lane clears. Oh, okay. Oh, don't don't tell me we can actually offload cargo here. Hold on a second. Is there... Oh, I thought maybe there was like a cargo crane that would come in. Oh, that'd be really cool if they had those cargo... Uh, the harbor cargo cranes where they uh, drop off and pick up uh, cargo onto flatbeds of trucks? That would be awesome. Well, I'm from Minnesota in the United States, so my state's not on here yet, the best state. No, I really enjoy Washington already. Like, Oregon was awesome. Washington is just like, oh, this is great. Because Washington is like Oregon, but like plus. Oops. Also, these vanilla trucks are a little different to drive, I must say. The uh, mod makers have definitely made it more driver-friendly, but the vanilla has made it more, uh, accurate. Woo! A little damage to the trailer, but not too bad. Oh, good. Oh, man, we made 12,000 from that. Awesome. All right, boys. Let's do another cargo haul. Let's see if we can find ourselves a... Also, apparently there's a challenging lumber road, and I wonder where that is. Like, if we look at all the roads, could be, uh... Oh, I don't know. It could be anywhere. Like, where would, where would like, a secret, hidden, deep lumber mill be? Like, right there, maybe? No, that seems like a farm. That looks like a farm. Oh, there's like a hidden... Oh, here. No, that's not too far off the road. There's got to be a logging road somewhere. And I bet it's really cool. Oregon has all... Oh, there it is. That's it. Right there. That's the one we're looking for. That's where I want to go. What is there? What is that? I want to go there. <laughs> I want to haul cargo from there. That's it. That's where I want to go. That's it. That's where it is. Next to Bellingham. Where are we? All right, so we're just south of Seattle. So we got to go up the 5 and then over under the 20. That's where I want to go. That's it right there. That's the challenging road. That's got to be it. That's got to be it right there. Okay, let's see. What can we... Can we haul anything from there? Let's see if we can go north and make some money there. Everett or Bellingham? Everett or Bellingham? Oh, there we go. Household appliances. Okay. Boys, I am so excited. There could possibly be some cargo up there. That could go that way. Coville or Pendleton? No, no, no. What about external contracts? Oh, yeah, they'll finish the lower eight, 48 states, of course. It'll take a very long time. All right, let's see. Okay, we can go Portland, Portland. Uh, no, don't want to go east. I want to go north. Let's see. Okay, well, let's try to go up to, uh, where was that cargo? Was it Bellingham? Yeah. All right, then we're going to go and find that, that logging cargo, baby. All right, so say goodbye to the Kenworths. We're leaving them behind. Awesome. Cannot wait. I want to be able to buy my own businesses in this game. Like, I want to be able to earn so much money as a trucker that I'm able to buy, like, a failing lumber mill or something like that and turn it into a thriving, you know, like, lumber mill and everything like that. Whew. Oh, hi there, Simulation Gaming. It's been a while because I'm in the UK. Couldn't catch any of your recent streams. Well, today's the day, man. We are uh, playing the Washington DLC, and now we're going to go up and do a challenging log road. My heart is broken. It doesn't feel right without our Mac R or our Scott mods, but today is a day where we're playing without mods, and then we'll come back and we'll play with mods some other time, so that way we can really get the full experience of ATS. Oh, should we actually uh, stop here and do a DirectX 11? Let, let's do a stop now. So people were asking about DirectX. So here, let me let me show you this. It's supposed to make the graphics of the game much more improved. It's a it's a different like uh, graphical model. Now right now I have everything on Ultra and it looks pretty damn good. That is like that's pretty beautiful, right? So let's stop the game here for a second. And in order to do that, I have to switch to DirectX 11. So it just takes like a quick little 
second. Like, you won't even hardly notice it. So let's see how differently the game looks when we fire that up. Let's give that a try. So now we're going to launch with DirectX 11 Experimental. That's something that we can do. Anonymous, thank you for subscribing. And now let's take a look at how it looks with DirectX 11. Okay, so all we got to do is just hit, like, continue, and you won't even hardly notice the di difference in the restart. Okay, let's try this. So if we go to continue game... Oh, man, I can't wait to see how differently this might look. Graphics are all on ultra. Ooh. Well, I can't tell too much of a difference, to be honest. Huh. Uh, Corporal 44, make sure you read the thing that says read all, read here, and then make sure you read all that, and then you know. Everybody watching, asking questions, are not reading everything that's down there for their FAQ. Make sure you read everything down below in its entirety. All right, let's see if I can uh, go back to graphics. It looks kind of the same, but it might be because um, everything's already on Ultra to begin with. If I take a look, if I do Advanced Settings, everything is on like High or Ultra. Some of these settings can't go any higher. Everything's set to like Super High. Okay. Well, I can't really tell much of a difference, but anyway. And Game Warrior 998, you would already know that we played that game if you checked everything down below in the description. Again, read the description. Check the description in its entirety. If you read the description, you'd know that we had a game schedule already set, and you'd know that uh, we'd already played that one by checking the channel. That's all you gotta do. Literally, the channel is a library of all the things we've already played. So, again, guys, rather than hopping into a stream that says Washington DLC and just requesting something else, we probably have already done it in the past. And so it'd be awesome if you were to check out the channel and look at all those videos on there. And you can just go to the channel and type it in in the upper right corner. And uh, you should see it there. We, pr we play most games, so you shouldn't have much trouble finding it if you go looking. All right. So now we're going to make our way over, and we're going north to... Uh, oh, I forgot the name of the city already. Be Be was it uh, Bellingham? And then we're going to haul some logs up there. Okay. Well, we're not going to haul logs up there, but we're going to haul something up north. Hey, Harry, how you doing? Uh, Harry, I'm not only playing with the Washington DLC to where we just got to our first destination, but I'm also playing with the forestry uh, machinery DLC, which allows us to haul forest machines, and that is awesome because, as you know, I've been trying to... That's not the turn we want. Um, we've been trying to simulate our own logging company, and so now it's just it's just perfect now. It's absolutely just perfect. And we've also found a very challenging logging road that I'm going to go driving on. I think I can. I think I see it somewhere in the north, so I'm really excited to go and find that. So stay with me, because we got some real beautiful stuff coming up here. This is going to be absolutely epic. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, too, so you can see more. Where's the destination, by the way? Should we turn on the voice? We should turn on... Can, is there a way to turn on the voice activation for the uh, audio? Let's see. Is there a way to turn that on? Enable voice navigation. Language and voice. German for Carl. Doug for US. Oh, wow. There's all these different languages. Is there Swedish? There's Russian, Turkish, Polish. Italian. Let's go with Doug for the... Let's go with Doug from the US. Let's listen to the voice. Time to hit the road. Caution. Please mind the speed limit. Who are... Wait a minute. Oh my god. I know who that is. That is literally the dude from uh, The Witcher 3, isn't it? Wow. Alright, so now there's voice navigation in the GPS, so that's super helpful. So Raptor can never miss a turn again, guys. I'm going to tab out for a quick second. Do 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 do. Alright, so I should never miss a turn again. We'll have to check out that volume, too, to make sure everything's working right. And we should go with the UK voice. Australian? Was that in there? I didn't see Australian in there at all. Alright, let's try this again. Alright. Ready to roll. He's so bland. Ready to roll. In 300. <gasps> turn. Stay right. Alright, let's turn him down a little bit. Stay left. At the roundabout, 
Take the sixth exit. Sixth exit? Stay left. Oh my goodness. What about, oh wait, Rapsy is going to be, oh I know, that, I know what that's going to be. Keep right. At the roundabout, take the first exit. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about Doug UK? At the roundabout, take the fifth exit. Go straight on. Caution. Please mind the speed limit. When possible, make a U-turn. Wow. Okay. What about Carl? Am Kreisverkehr dritte Ausfahrt nehmen. Wenn möglich, machen Sie eine Kehrtwende. Am Kreisverkehr dritte Ausfahrt nehmen. Okay. Let's just go with Doug and we'll keep it at that. All right. Well, that's beat let's Siri and Alexa. This. Yeah, let's do this, bro. All right, let's pull in here. Turn right. Thank you, sir. You have arrived at your destination. Yes, I have. Your route guidance is now finished. Thank you. Okay. Wow, that is super helpful. <laughs> I love this already. All right, let's take a look at the trailers that we can haul. We can do the big O, big O dry van. Doesn't really change much. Also, what are we hauling? Like home appliances? Why would we haul them in a refrigerator then? Engine malfunction. You are a noob. Insulated. Let's just go with the uh, standard dry van. Yeah, let's just go with this one. Nothing special that we need to do. Because we want to get up north. So we found out where the, where the secret, even though it's not a secret, but check it out. Did you know you can get an Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator voice pack? Hold on, let me tab out and buy that right now. Um, okay, so we can, we're going to drive up to Bellingham. Somewhere here is where they need the delivery. And then we're driving over here, folks. That is where the challenge road is for logging. Check that out. It's a hidden place up there somewhere. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And then we're going to uh, try to do some of our modded trucks and stuff. But remember, right now it's all vanilla. We're not playing with any mods on, so it's all vanilla for now. So are we uh, going with this cargo? Let's see. Yep, household appliances. Yep, okay. Take New job. Subscriber shout out. Elnara, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome aboard, guys. If you would like to subscribe, your name will pop up here. So make sure you click or tap that uh, subscribe button if you're new. We'll welcome you to the channel. And you can see more of what's new in the Washington DLC and also the uh, wonderful Forest Machinery DLC. Hopefully we see some of that soon, so long as it's going to the uh, proper locations or something like that. So, All right, let's get back over to picking up a trailer. And then we will make our way to where I really want to go. I just want to do logging, even though we're taking a look at all the Drive stuff safe. in the DLC. Lashif, thanks for subscribing. New subscriber yeah, Morgan Freeman is in here too. It's awesome. Welcome aboard, everybody. Amin, hello. How you doing? Welcome. All right. Time to hit the road. All right, let's make sure we give enough space here. Some of these trailers can be a little long. New subscriber shout out. Anonymous, thanks for subbing. Uh, I think we're good. New subscriber right, shout perfect. Out. Turn left. Well, you should have told me that before. Subscriber shout out. Awesome. Welcome, everybody. Vanille, how you doing? Welcome. Get ready to turn right. I want some more money in this game so we can buy a new truck, too, but I'm also going to have to buy a garage like in Seattle so I can teleport turn right, between and then stay right. Portland and Seattle and everything. Oh, I like the new GPS guidance. It's really helpful. Stay right and then turn right. Thank you. I like the GPS. Very Turn helpful. Right. Uh, Game Warrior 998 spamming the same thing repeatedly in chat is not going to get it to happen. Make sure you check down below and read all the rules. Make sure you read the rules, check the rules, read the rules in the description. You probably won't do that because I spammed it, right? Right. Hi there, Ryan. How you doing? Welcome. Hi there, Dawson. Good to see you here, too. Welcome back. All right. Speed cameras and everything around. Oh, we can bypass. Excellent. Excellent. Hey, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm in a uh, hurry to try to get up north so I can go and find that secret road. That's my mi mission right now. That's what I want to do. What's up, Jennifer? All right, what does this say? Reduce speed zone ahead. Use caution. Okay. Wow, that's really helpful. There's so much more guidance now. You got GPS that'll talk to you. You got uh, all these uh, texts. What's going on here? 
Stay left. Okay, so reduce speed, so we should probably slow down. There we go. Spokane. Wow, look at how beautiful that city is. That is cool. Stay left. Wow, there's so much to see. This is amazing. Oh, we discovered Seattle literally by just driving through it. Well, that's helpful. It literally looks like a realistically large city for the first time. LA is kind of just like four square blocks and that's it. But this actually looks like a real city. Check this out. Amazing. Oh, that's cool. Oh, is that a helicopter? Oh, we must be in a high-speed chase now. There's literally a helicopter flying above a parking garage for some reason. Okay. New subscriber shout -out. Welcome aboard, Anonymous. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, and there's the... Uh I think the convention center's through here somewhere. Oh, I love tunnels like this. That is so cool. Yep, there it is. The Washington State Convention Center. Saw that from uh, some of the uh, screenshots and everything. Let's get our first screenshot in Washington. We made it, boys. We made it to Washington. Josh Sutton, thank you very much for clicking and tapping that join button. You're putting some fuel in the tanks. And welcome to all the new subscribers. This DLC is phenomenal. I'm loving it already. Beautiful. Actually, not, not as good as we could have done. Let's make sure we get the top of the building. There we go. That's awesome. You lived in Washington for two years and you love the channel? All right. Very cool. Let's turn the uh, lights back on. There we go. At least in the cab. Whew. What a beautiful day. We finally get to see it. Good thing we saw Seattle during the daytime. Now we're heading up to a big old challenging logging road. And it's going to be Stay awesome. Stay left. Ooh. Stay left. That is awesome. Do, 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 do. Stay left. I'm staying left. Thanks again, guys, for clicking and tapping that like button, too, to show your support for the channel. No matter what, it helps it to grow. And, of course, we're almost a half a million because of you all. So thank you very much. Look at how beautiful this landscape is. This is awesome. Wow, we went from, like, downtown Seattle to, like, kind of the outskirts of the city, and now it feels like we're going into more rural territory. It's going to be amazing. Uh, yes, we also, we're we playing with the forest pack as well, which allows us to have some forest machinery. And I have that DLC. It just uh, is going to take us some time to actually like find a piece of cargo that is forest machinery. I don't, I'm don't. i sure some of it's like heavy cargo. That's going to be really cool. I'm really excited to see what else we can haul because, of course, I'm starting a logging company, and that's going to be awesome. Now we're, we're, we're logging between Washington and Oregon. And we're gonna haul. I'm gonna get like Mac R's. I want to get some custom stuff loaded up. Have Colt work for me. Give give him a different job. I won't pay him or anything like that. We'll just give him a different job. <laughs> oh, looks like there's an accident up here. Or what? What's going on here? Oh, we gotta stop anyway. Is that? Oh, that's a car pulled over. All right, we're gonna have to watch out for that. Well, that guy is boxed in completely. All right, well, we got to pull into the way station now, so.
All right, 15 okay, miles. Let's find a new route. Uh, new subscriber shout out. Go straight. Joseph, thanks for seven. What do you mean speeding violation? Oh, really? Are you kidding me? Hold on a second. The cop on the highway who just passed us gave me a ticket for doing like 25 in the 15 at the way station. Please. Please. <laughs> uh, so many unnecessarily silly tickets in this one, but it doesn't matter. Well, Jake, you would know the name of this game, one, if you read the title, and two, if you read the description that says to read everything down below. The first thing in the description is to read the description in the title. Today's going to be a very tough day for you. Yeah, I know, the, the cop coming by doing uh, 60 or 70 miles an hour somehow, like, plowed into the guardrail in order to... Uh, Give the guy a, a ticket at the way station for doing a 23 and a 15, or whatever I was doing. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Why are you so mean to everyone? Uh, why don't you just read the title in the description? Why not grow a brain? The title is there for thousands of people to read, and as well as the title. All you got to do is do that. I can't just uh, play ca Cater to My Needs Simulator. We're playing American Truck Simulator. Uh, that'd be your mom, Jake. Now you can just do a perma on that one now. And it's so strange. People come in to ask a question because they are too lazy to read. You tell them to read the thing that they didn't want to do, and then they try to insult you with some sort of a insult that gets filtered out anyway. Life is going to be very right, hard. And then exit right. All right, we're almost there. Exit right. Iowa Street. I thought we were in Stay Washington. Right, and then turn right. Thank you, Geralt. I appreciate that. The Witcher is so helpful. Wow, that was not a long drive at all. Turn right. I got a million dollar voice. Stay left, and then turn left. What the? Oh, cool. There's actually lines on the ground like they need to turn paint. Turn left. That is so cool. Oh, do I need turn to take another left. left? Oh, okay. Officer, you can keep on going. I need to turn in it here. It was a nice ride. It was a nice ride. Okay, well, thank you. What are the new trucks? So apparently there's Western Star Trucks, but I think we need to find the dealership for them. So we'll find out where they are ex exactly soon enough. I'm just going to pull in here and do a quick delivery so we can see more, more of this map as soon as possible. Absolutely, Ryan. Thanks for the support. Cops getting new things to give electronic tickets. Well, no, I think they'd still want to pull people over because that'll allow them to check vehicles and get people for other tickets and things like that. How close was I to this side? Well, I didn't think I was that close. Then again, I, I think I'd, I just missed my Mac. That's all it is. That short nose day cab. Hauling logs. That's all I want to do. All right, boys. Speaking of hauling logs, let's go ahead and find ourselves a new cargo. Come on, baby. Let me haul something up to the logging camp. So far, my favorite state is this one. This is the one I've wanted. All right. All we need to do is drive it up to that logging camp. Please let me drive up to the logging camp. Oh, there's some of the forestry equipment. There it is. You got a forwarder or a log loader. It'd be kind of nice if they put a little symbol next to it, letting you know it was a part of a DLC. So here's some of the new cargo you can haul. A log lo Wow. That's a big boy. 106,000 pounds for the log loader and 44,000. Not so bad for the forwarder. Okay. That's cool. Let's check external contracts. Also, 
There's new uh, trailers that you can haul there too. Oh, there we go. Everett uh, wants uh, lumber. That's nice. Anything going up to the... Anything going up to the old site? Oh! Oh! My God. That is it. Oh, that is it. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Not only is it the forest DLC, but it is also the challenging log zone. This is it, boys. Hold on to your butts. This is going to be it. This is totally it. Oh, this is this is a big moment. Big moment. You might want to gather the kids in the living room or something. Okay, here we go. All right, let's take a look at the map. This is where we're going. Yes, we got to go up here to the challenging zone and then haul it down to Everett, which isn't really even that far. This is awesome. This is finally what we've been waiting for. Is there a truck station around? I want to paint. I need to get a paint job before we leave. Oh, I think there's a garage here. Or wait. Oh, no, that's a maintenance zone and another thing. All right, we got we to gotta get our paint job going. We got to get a different paint job, I think, before we do this. I really want to haul it with the Mac R, but it's not updated for 1.35 yet, or at least not on my version. That's all right. We'll take a look at uh, Washington State with mods a little bit later today. It's Again, reminder, it's vanilla. What game is this? This is Roblox. Oh, okay, thanks. Play Fortnite. Gotta go. All right, awesome. What is the hardest truck you've driven? Uh, hardest truck. Uh, I think the vanilla ones feel a little not real. I feel like the mods, uh, a lot of the mods are made by trucking right. guys who, you know, actual are truckers, and they've actually made these, Turn like, mods. Right. So I think, honestly, mods made by somebody who was a truck driver who also knows something about a computer are probably the most realistic. That, I think, is the most amazing. That's a good question. The Rat Pack paint job? Yeah, Harry, we gotta get Pickle Pines going on here soon. Uh, we're using a wheel. Again, check down below in the description to see the equipment, as it says the first thing in the description to read. Read the whole thing. Make sure you do it. There's secrets in there. Yeah, there you go. Useful to determine if they stole the vehicle. Checking suspended license, no registration. They, those are the big money things. Giving you a speeding ticket is like the last thing they can do if they're looking for, like, some drifter or something who, uh shank somebody at a Walmart with a sprinkler key or something like that. You know, fun stuff. I love this. I love the variable Stay roads. Left and then turn left. These, I think these little lines like this mean that they haven't painted the road yet, but they're preparing to do it. Like, they turn just resurfaced, left. and then somebody came out and laid out all the roads, and now they just gotta spray the lines. Boys, this is gonna be, this is gonna be uh, a big moment. This is an epic moment in trucking history. At least for our company. Twin Cam, how's it going? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Because we're about to go and play... We're playing the Washington DLC. We're playing the, the... There's also a new DLC that came out today that not many people knew about, which is the Forestry Machines DLC. And we're we're going to, like, a very... Uh, a difficult, challenging logging road. Which probably isn't really all that challenging, but we're going to make it epic. I might... We might actually need to play some epic music for this. I better get some... We're going to have to get some music ready for when, when this happens. This is going to be... All right, I got, okay, I got some music ready now. All right, we're good. As a state trooper, the least we can do is pull someone over. Yeah, I want a high-speed chase like that. There we, oh, I thought that was a cop. Right. I wanted to, like, see if he could get him to chase me. I don't know if that's new or not. Oh, well. Oh, I, I thought he would come along. I guess not. I'm in a hurry. I want to go see this new... D this new zone. What else is new? There's uh, 20 new... Actually, I don't know. How, ma how many new cities are there? I think there's 20 new... Well, at least 20 new bridges. There's like 10 or 15 new cities. There's apparently new trucks that have been added. Stay left. And uh, new cargo ty like new cargo locations, of course. New truck stops. Oh, there's just... I don't know. It's just awesome. I'm in a hurry, though. I want to go and see this new place. This is what I've been waiting for. This is my dream come true. Now the next thing I want to do is get that Mac R and continue on with our logging company. Right now it's kind of just like a quick little view of everything. Can you make your ma way to Maine Stay in the right. game? And then exit right. Not yet. It's mostly the western United States that's completed so far. Alright, boys. Exit right. Once we reach this uh, base of the logging zone, then realism. I enter realism mode. We're, Stay we're, right. We're gonna try. Then turn right. We're gonna put in an effort for once. Oh my god. 
Turn right. Thank you, Geralt. Oh, those two uh, lights are really close to each other. Oh, there we go. This guy's hauling logs. Yeah. All right, again, welcome to all the new subscribers joining our channel today. I'm super excited to be here for the Washington DLC, and I hope you are too. We're going to take a look now at the forestry DLCs, and one of the big highlights for the Washington DLC is a logging road we're about to go on. So now it is daytime. It, oh, there it is, Cascade Loop Scenic Highway. Okay, so it's got to be on here somewhere. All right, that is awesome. What is that, a fire department? Oh, that's an ambulance? Yeah, a fire truck. Oh, wow. Someone rear-ended someone else here. How did that happen? Oh, boy. Look at the right side. Is that a giant... Is that a lake or a river over there? Or is that... Oh, yeah, a little river. Okay, we're making our way there. Little construction going on. Yeah, I don't know how it works if you need if you want to play the Washington DLC. I don't know if you need Oregon 2 or if they'll give you like one road or something. They might give you like a highway that cuts through Oregon and not let you go off any of the off ramps like if you don't want the Wa Oregon DLC and you just want Washington I would imagine that they just give you one road that passes through but you can't actually stop or anything isn't there a uh, ferry that'll take you there I don't know I don't think there's any ferries in California that I can think of but I know Washington had a few local ferries that you can take to get to certain locations get ready to turn left thank you Geralt All right, boys, we're entering Uber Super Challenge mode now. This is the big moment. Turn left. This is it. Woo, rough road. All right, boys. Better put on some deadly mute. Hold on, let's, we're going to have to pick some music here. Okay, here we go. All right, this is it. Okay, are we ready? Oh, look at this road. This is... Oh, man. Oh, this is it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's raining too. Oh, man. See some cliffs or something here. Come on. No, this isn't game music. I'm playing this on my own on the side. Oh, <laughs> sweet.
Oh, there we go, boys. Let it begin. Cliff sides. <laughs> cool. Yeah. There's more of that coming up here. We're not even halfway through this road yet. Oh my god, epic. Oh, that is so beautiful, dude. That is amazing. Best DLC ever. Keep it going. Alright, now we got some big challenging turns and stuff coming up. Let's speed up a little bit. Alexandru, thanks for subbing. Welcome aboard, everybody. Make sure if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. This is our challenging log road right now. It's actually a feature in, like, the description of the DLC, too, so they purposely made this to be epic. Like, they literally listed it, like, epic. Oh, don't worry about the truck. This actually is just a, like a free truck that they gave me for a mod that wasn't working. We won't be seeing this one too much longer, but now we got to drive out of here with some heavy cargo, so it's about to get more epic. New subscriber shout -out. Yeah, welcome aboard, everybody. Welcome to the convoy, boys. Ooh, there's one road there that goes down. Cool. Oh, this is going to be deadly. Man, look at that cliff. That is a pro screenshot right there. That is awesome. Look at that. You think this is a footpath? <laughs> I hope not. We're going to hit somebody. Look at that cliff. That is epic. Now we have to come back down this hill with cargo. But keep in mind, this isn't just like the only thing we're doing. No, we'll, we'll save that one. We'll save that one. Okay, we're almost there. So it looks like the most difficult part of this is going to be like uh, just the twisty parts. There's really not much to it other than like cliffside driving. Oh, they're really far back here doing some logging, aren't they? Oh. 
Like a little storage area there. Hi there, Brian. How you doing? Welcome. Wow, my, my uh, the force feedback on my controller is going absolutely insane. Wow, look at how beautiful this is. Oh, wow. We are really up high. All right, we're almost to our destination. We're picking up a forwarder and then bringing it back to uh, Everett. This is exactly what I wanted from this game. I really hope there's a mod that adds a bunch of like more challenging roads. Like I want a mod that's just a logging mod that adds like some just crazy deep backwoods uh, logging sites for Oregon and Washington, just like five for each. Oh, I would gladly pay for that mod. All right, boys, we are here. We're picking up a forwarder now. So where are here we, we go? are? Safe and sound. Oh, good. Oh, over a over the top. I got an achievement for that too. So we are like. We are at the top. Epic. Okay, there's our forwarder. Yeah, there might be East Coast stuff for now. It's all West Coast. So the whole Western Coast of the U.S., aside from Canada, is done. I'm uh, sorry, Alaska up to, you know, through Canada is done. So they haven't done any of that. Okay. Ready to roll. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Well, let's see if we can make it out of here without dying. This is going to be interesting. Ashley, welcome aboard. <laughs> Look at the clearance of this trailer. It's literally sitting on the ground already. Wow, well, this is going to be interesting. All right, boys. Let Death Mountain, the climb down Death Mountain, begin. This is where the game really begins. Here we go. Imagine this in multiplayer, like 45 trucks coming down the road. Epic. Look at look at that. Oh my god. Right there, baby. That's a screenshot. Look at that. This game is amazing. Look at that. Oh man. Wow. That's astounding. Look at that. Oh, man. Well, if we fly off the edge, the only thing that'll happen is we'll get stuck and have to buy a uh, haul a tow truck. It'd be rather anticlimactic. Uh, truck? Why did it stall out? I didn't even shift gears. Truck, you behave. New subscriber shout out. I was in second gear. Maybe we're going too slow. 
Jerry, thank you for subscribing. Sorry, I got I got carried away at the beauty of this game. You know what's funny is that most of the screenshots for this DLC are literally like they zoom out far away from the truck and then there's like a huge mountain in the background and it's like, well clearly you guys are not <laughs> don't really care so much about the truck and it's more about like the landscape, which is cool. Like the landscape is just beautiful. Alright, let's bring her down to two and just crawl. Okay, no no, just just crawl. Also, it seems to have stopped raining. Oh, they have more settings for the wipers, too. I forgot about that. They have a slow, a medium, and then a fast. They added one more setting. Wow, what a, what a game. <laughs> All right, boys. Let's see if we can get down this hill without uh, bursting into flame. New subscriber shout-out. Oh, look. Daniel must have gotten the DLC, too. Natural habitat. Oh. And apparently, I didn't go tight enough. Oh, I thought we were turning right. Hold on a second. Oh, we don't have to go over there. Okay, I thought I was, like, making a right turn. Whew. I do not want to go near this cliff. Uh oh I think we're stuck between a rock and a hard place now. <laughs> Actually, let's see. So, I, yeah, you can't drive over there at all. So you won't be able to go that po to that point. Alright. Be able to just weasel, weasel our way out of this one. Oh, no, don't tell me that the hitbox on this vehicle is going to be bigger than the vehicle itself. Oh, come on. So I didn't hit it, it's just an imaginary hitbox. So we actually... I probably would have made it if it weren't for that uh, giant hitbox. There we go. Perfect. Well, the hitbox on that vehicle was rather thick. Alright, let's get down the mountain now. Ooh, it is beautiful to look at. I could spend all day up here. I don't care if this takes three hours to get down the mountain. This is my natural habitat. I'm like a billy goat. There's that beautiful bridge with the uh, epic waterfall that goes underneath it. Oh, dude. We better bring up the second mirror for now. <laughs> Push it? Yeah, I could have just pushed right through it. Yeah, like every inch of this mountaintop is a screenshot. Like just like that. Boom, screen. Like screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. That's all we gotta do. I'm looking to see if we can get some new trucks. Can anyone look for me and find out where the new trucks are? Like I know that we've got some new trucks in the game. Uh, that we have Western Star and... Uh, few others. Do they have their own dealerships? They must, right? So then what parts of... They must be in like Seattle or something like that, right? Not Seattle, but like in Washington itself. Oh, wait a minute. There's something wrong here. There we go. New subscriber shout out. Picura. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, I'm gonna... I want to take a look at one of the new trucks now. This truck is essentially... I had a mod for a Peterbilt that turned it into, like, a like a, a Scott or a, a Mac R. And with the mod not working, the game just recognized it as, oh, you bought a truck from the Mac dealership, it, or rather from the Peterbilt dealership, it must be a Peterbilt, even though it's a modded Peterbilt to make it look like a Mac. So, this is basically, like... My dream truck is a Mac with the headache rack and everything else. This is going to be epic. That's why I'm kind of just like driving this truck like I stole it. Because it's not technically my truck. By the way, speed limit on this road? 60. You see that? You see that on the GPS? It says 60. Yeah, maybe like uh, 20 at the most. Especially up here across the bridge.
All right, let's go back into some epicness. Ooh, look at that waterfall. We got to take a screenshot, right? Oh, look, the water's still flowing. Was I close on that one? Wow, look at that. I want to be able to go higher. Yeah. Why does it go out of gear when I'm... That's really weird. I don't think I put it into neutral. This actually seems like a paved road now. It looks like it's paved. Or at least it's some pretty decent gravel here. Yeah. Death Road. Uh oh. We gotta go around the one last deadly turn. This is it. After this, it's open road if we can make it. We make it? It's still there. <laughs> it came with us. We made it, boys. All right, it's all open road from here. All right, let's drop her into low, low, and let's go. Have you not? Oh, differential. What am I on mud? Uh oh. No. Don't let me get stuck here. I need. No. All right, boys. It's gonna take something that I learned about back in 1999. A whole lot of flooring. Come on, baby. Come on. Hi there, Ethan. How you doing? Just doing a lot of flooring. Oh, we're coming loose. The bottom end of that uh, trailer got stuck. Okay, to be honest, this was probably the most challenging trailer that I could have uh, brought along on this journey. Because a dry van or like a... Heck, even like a logging trailer is way up above the ground. There we go. <sighs> mm. Made it out of that one, boys. See, sometimes all you need is just a whole lot of flooring. Gotta make a shirt that says that. All right, now I think it gets relatively easy because we're coming down and uh, the roads just have a few minor bends in them. Nothing crazy. Differential on? Yeah, now it is. But oh, we can turn that off. There we go. No Cascadia. Oh, yeah, Colt. I'm glad you're here. Uh, we're on the most challenging road, by the way, in the game. This is the one that they highlighted. And we're coming down with the DLC, which is the Forestry Machines DLC. So we're driving a forwarder. Down from the uh, hills outside of a uh, city known as, uh, was it Belhem? 
and we're heading down to a city called Everett. But I was going to ask you, for the Cascadia, where are those dealerships? Because we will need to find, I think we need to find specifically a Western Star or whatever dealership. And I think there's a few more dealerships on the map, but I'll have to find them first. Unless there's a way for us to buy trucks online and get them delivered that way. Additionally, we also have the ability to buy garages, too, online. So that's really helpful if, for example, you're in, like, Portland and you want to quickly buy a garage in Seattle and you don't want to drive up there. It makes it a lot easier to go and get a garage if you already have connections in the city. So let me know where those... Uh, I, I, I want to buy the new trucks. Just got to find them. But we are playing vanilla today until we can get access to our Mac R. And then so long Peterbilt and Kenworth. This Peterbilt's pretty good, though. I like calling with this one. Wow, we made it. When you come out of here, you can barely even tell that. Like, it's hard to see this place. There's no sign. There's just a stop sign, and that's pretty much it. And then there's just like a gap in the in the uh, rail, and, and that's all you got. That's yeah, super dangerous coming out of here, especially with an articulated trailer like that. That is. Oh, yep. <laughs> I'm afraid of getting hit by a car on the opposite side. That's what I was worried about. Yeah, we're doing pickle pine. Well, we're pretty much doing pickle pines, but I got to get that Mac back. And then uh, I really want to be able to buy these login sites, but we could just say that we own them. It's all imaginary anyway. All right, let's head back up to uh, Everett now. Man, that articulation. Whew. Super difficult cargo. Those are crazy. Mac R should be an update for... One, three, yeah, I, I'm sure they'll add some more truck brands in the future. This is all great free advertising for Peterbilt, Kenworth, and Volvo, though. Those are the three that are in the game by Vanilla, default. And I'm really hoping that they add uh, something else in the future. Mac, Freightliner. Uh, I got the updated software for skin, so I'll try to get one made for you. Yeah, if you want to do a Pickle Pines one for the Mac R, I would really appreciate That's my favorite. And then also maybe one for the Scott. But that's... Scott's maybe like a close second, but Mac R is... My baby. Alright, boys, let's head back into town now. That was tricky getting out of there. Now we know what to expect. It's not as scary, but it's cool. There's a bridge, there's cliffs, everything I wanted. And there's, uh... What do they call those things, uh... When they wind back, what do they call those again? The uh, switchbacks or something like that? Or switch arounds? Or they call it something like that, right? I'm not really seeing much of a difference with uh, Direct X11. And that might be because I just have all my graphics turned up to high heaven. And, uh,. all that look at the vehicle browser well that's only vehicles that you own I believe let me take a look Stay that's right quiet Gerald vehicle browser truck browser that's just a that's just a Kenworth I don't know oh they're not in here no Kenworth t680 Kenworth w900 579 Volvo and Peterbilt hmm It's my favorite till I drive the Peterbilt 521. Well, we'll have to see about that. Welcome to all the new subscribers today, too, guys. Thank you, everybody, for clicking and tapping that subscribe button. Names are popping up here. People are excited more than ever, I think, for this DLC. Now that it's finally here, people probably didn't know. God. All right. Let's keep rolling. Ba -da -ba -ba. I gotta get this truck repaired too, but I want the Mac R. Like I'm driving this car like I like it's a rental. Oh boy, lighting seems to be the only difference. Yeah, it could be.
So we don't have much of a distance to go now. Uh, 31 miles. Just down the highway. Oh, looks like we need to get some more gas, too. We'll get some gas and get the truck repaired. More importantly, I think we need to uh, get ourselves a... Uh, get ourselves a garage. So we can we're starting to officially build our logging company now. Stay left, and then turn left. Thank you, Geralt. Turn left. Yeah, it does have real truck stops. I have yet to see or go to one. But there should be some nice truck stops around here somewhere. Oh, DX11 increases draw distance, says Colt. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure exactly what the changes were, but... Those, those small changes like that can make a huge difference. Thank you, uh... Yeg and uh, Texan Bread for being so helpful during today's stream. You guys are... I'm going to give you guys a coveted deluxe mega shout-out. There you go. For being very informative to the other members and uh, letting everyone know stuff that they could find in the description. Greatly appreciate that. So thanks for improving the stream quality and the experience for everybody. Because you two are... Uh, you got your heads on a swivel. And you guys are on the ball. So thank you. Jerry, you subscribed? Yes, thank you. Everybody who subscribes, your name should pop up. So thank you for subscribing, and thanks for uh, liking, too. If you if you love this DLC, if you love ATS, Euro Truck, or trucking in general, smack that like button. Give it some love. Support this type of content. More important than ever on YouTube to support the stuff you love, because otherwise it's just going to be Jimmy Kimmel playing ATS. Do you really want to see that? That's what it's going to be. It's going to be NBC, ABC playing games, and it's going to be nothing right. but... Barney, right. Barney Hug Simulator is all it's going to be. Ooh, look at that BNSF going. Yeah. Exit right. Beautiful. Oh, are we going across this bridge? Oh, cool. And there's some lights on this one. Uh-oh. It's a swinging bridge. Could you imagine if I just went off the edge like that? New subscriber shout out. Oh, now the gates come down? I w it would probably be a good idea game for the... Uh, the little arms to come down before the bridge starts swimming, swinging. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing some swimming. Oh, there comes the barge. Wait, are there three bridges here that swing? Is that a rail bridge over there? That looks like a road bridge. That might be rail over there. There are three bridges here that swing. That is insanity. What's the deal with YouTube then? Oh, they're just trying to do things to suppress content that they don't like. They're in the business of making money, so anything that's political or video games or scary, they're trying to kill off. So that way it can all be the corporations that are safe. But essentially it's just, you know, news media is dead. They're trying to cling to life by blaming everyone else for their problems. You know, like PewDiePie and myself are the reason why <laughs> they suck. Because they're out. Literally, essentially what it is is this. Blockbuster is very, very mad at Netflix for being more convenient and affordable to the customer. And so Blockbuster is trying to, uh, you know, attack Netflix and its users and stuff like that. Except it's not Blockbuster and Netflix. It's YouTube and, like, uh, old school uh, media and old companies. Now, they were great, and we'll miss them, but nobody cares about Jimmy Kimmel playing ATS. You guys want to see me and Squirrel and Who's other people play. Not, not Kimmel. I just use him as an example. Can you drive through the arm when it's down? Nah, it's an invisible wall. Oh, and there comes the bridges. They're coming back. Look at that. They actually turn. Oh, one at a time. Oh, never mind. Oh, look. Oh, there's the channel. You can see the channel right there. Just on the other side of that wall there. That is cool. Wow. Where's the join button? There should be a big blue uh, join button down below. 
If you're on iOS, you'll have to be on your computer. But you should be able to see it if you're on Android or on your PC. Do I still have to wait? Oh, now we can go. Okay. Wow, that is epic. Washington is just so cool. Are they censoring? Not necessarily. What it is is it's about money. Money is more important than people or the First Amendment. Profit is so much more important than the Constitution, than people, than privacy. That's why if you say certain things around your phone and then you scroll through Facebook or Twitter the next day, some similar ads Stay will pop right. up. And then turn right. Like if you mention Pizza Hut or something like that, then suddenly you'll start seeing pizza ads and stuff like that. Turn like I right. went into incognito mode once to look up some information about something just to see what it would do. So I looked up some information about, um, it was it was a medication. A friend of mine had said that they were taking a new medication. Turn right. And uh, I didn't want anyone to think that like I was taking we medication. So I looked it up. It was like some sort of an arthritis medication. And the next thing that popped up was all sorts of arthritis treatments and things like that. Advertising to a person and getting money from sales is far more important than your privacy, far more important than, you know, you thinking that you have a peace of mind or something like that. Grabbing a couple of bucks out of your wallet, it's critical. That is way more important. Show us the new trucks. There are no new real trucks now, apparently. I looked at the uh, truck browser, but I couldn't find any. We just looked at them a minute ago. There didn't seem to be anything new. Oh boy, I'm not going to be able to park this one, am I? Oof. Can you imagine a malfunction on the twisting bridge? You know, I think, honestly, it is an achievement. I think if you if you park on one of those bridges while it's rotating or raising, there are achievements for goofing around on those bridges. So the game kind of encourages you once to at least at least try it once. Like, hey, goof, goof around just one time. Oh, wow, we need some fuel. This thing was not fuel efficient and perfectly parked with no problems whatsoever. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah, it is It is greed. Well, here's the thing, Kelvin. Those people who make those decisions are put into power not by the consumer, but by the shareholder. And if the shareholder sees more or the same amount of profit as the previous time, then that's what's most important. It's not about you and your privacy. And, you know, here at so-and-so company, we care about... No, no, no. They care about their bottom line and the uh, income report. That's what it is. It's what the shareholders think. Okay, let's roll on. Yeah, there's no pri there's no privacy anywhere. You guys know that. Like you c you can't speak around your phone. Go ahead, try it out later today. Start having just start li think about it for the next uh, 24 hours in your normal day. Think about the conversations you have with people about like, oh yeah, I went down. To, there's a new subway that opened in town. I really like that new uh, hoagie or something like that. The next thing you know, you're getting ads for like a boar's head. Uh, you know, uh, meats or something like that. Think about it. It's all, it's all totally, it's all linked. It's because profits are important. All right, let's roll on. So we've discovered four cities so far, Vancouver. Um, well, actually, we, so we went from Portland, I think, through Vancouver to Tacoma. Then we went from Seattle to Bellingham and then back down to uh, Everett. That's been epic so far. So this is a really important line. The five with Bellingham, Everett, Seattle, Tacoma, Vancouver, Portland, Salem, and Eugene, all the way down to Medford. That is like a huge, that is very important. Look at all that. That is awesome. Port, uh, Port Angeles has a ferry. So where does that go? Where does the ferry go? Does it, does it take me, can I go from like uh, Port Angeles to like Bellingham? Or how does that work? Thank you very much, Ernest, for dropping by. I appreciate that. Thank you for checking all this out with me, guys. All right, we saw some of the forest DLC. So... Some of this stuff here must be, that must be of, oh no, no, that's not. But this is, the forwarder is for sure. I think actually if you look at the DLC page, it'll say everything that's new. Never Neverland, maybe. Well, I know that Seattle, Tacoma, and Port Angeles are connected to the ocean. That they have ports for sure. But that helps at least to get across, you know, instead of going across the whole, uh, the, port, the bay like that. Okay, let's keep on hauling, boys. Let's grab some more stuff. This is great. I can't believe that. Now we're, go we're going to uh, do some mods eventually. And that's when the game truly begins. Oh, Everett to Longview. Oh, Longview is... Okay, that's another city. I kind of want to go east now or west to, like, Port Angeles. Oh, there was one. Oh, I don't want to haul that, though. Oh, there's Olympia. 
Hmm, that's kind of down that direction. So it's probably going to be hard to get to Port Angeles and Aberdeen. I bet those two cities are going to be kind of out of the way. Same with Longview. It's going to be like these four that are there. If you see the map, if you guys were curious, this is what the map is. Uh, New Mexico, Arizona, California, Nevada, Oregon, and Washington. This is all with DLCs. If you buy the game today, which I think it is on sale, you'll get California, Nevada, Arizona and, n for free. You'll get these three. New Mexico was a DLC, Oregon was a DLC, and same with Washington. So you have to pay for all of those. But it is worth it. This game is worth every penny because there are so many mods. And a lot of the mods that come out require... Um, they require some of the assets from the mods, or from the DLCs for the mods, so you'll need to get that. Well, right, let's go back and take a look. I should probably also buy some trailers and stuff, too, but now that we've got the DLC and I know it works, we're good to go. I want to see if any of my stuff is updated. So we've, we've checked out the main line now. This is great. Super awesome. Let's see if there's, um, let's see if we can actually buy a garage here. I would like to do that now. Um, so let's go to the garage purchasing agent here. Okay, so there's garages in Spokane, Kennewick, uh, Wenatachi, Seattle, and Tacoma. So you can actually see where all the garages are now in the game and buy them. This green one, this green square, is like your HQ. So I bought it in Vegas because it used to be like in the middle of the map, but now it probably might be better to start in Reno if you want to start like in the middle of the available map. Let's try to buy a HQ in... I think we should probably do Seattle. I like Tacoma a little bit better, but just Se Seattle just seems to be the place to go. I wonder if you won't be allowed to drive on Saturdays in the Utah DLC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, uh, the whole city shuts down. It, the, actually, the game won't start. If it's a Saturday, uh, ATS will just, it won't, it won't start up. All right, let's buy a new garage then with that hard-earned money that we made from uh, previous. And then let's teleport to... Our garage now so let's go to truck how much money do we have 17,000 I do seem to need a little bit of repair so let's go back to our garage glad we bought this one now so now we own Seattle yay that is so cool let's go back there hey there Carson and hello old man farmer how are you all doing welcome everybody yeah this game needs you know what would be really cool I want to see a, f a fast food mod that adds a bunch of uh, places you can go to grab some Grab some fast food. Okay, so we need to go get some repair. You know, it'd be nice. Why can't you repair your uh, your garage? You know, it'd be nice if we could just pull in here and repair. But I guess that's not a thing. All right, let's find a uh, space to go to. Go to Kennewick? Yeah, we will definitely do some more of that. Let's go to, uh, let's find a garage first. Our truck needs a little repair. I was reckless because I was just so excited, to be honest. Ooh, wait a minute. There's a Kenworth deal. Can you go there for repair? That seems to be like a Kenworth. Oh, there's two of them. There's like a repair shop there and then like a factory here. Also, I think there's an airport here too, or like a, there's like a Boeing factory somewhere around here. Does anyone does anyone live in Washington or know where that there there should be like an aircraft factory or something? They fly them out from here and go. You should get a repair shop in the Max. Oh, you oh do you? Oh no. Yeah, that would actually be nice. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, they should do that. Time to hit the road. With your updates, you should be able to get more uh, upgraded garage. Not only storage space, but yeah, you should be able to repair your truck. Like, what's stopping a person from storing some extra stuff at their um at their garage. I mean, that's what a garage is for, right? Like, you should be able to change the color, you should be able to um, do anything. I think there was also a mod, they uh, added a new feature so you could change your trailers too. Stay right, and then turn right. Like, I think with certain trailers you could extend them so it gives you even more trailer options for some reason turn or something. Right. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but I think it had something to do with maybe changing the axles. I think that's what it was. So you can change the weight distribution for whatever state requires it. Oh, are we really going to be on this long haul now? All right, we're going to get some repairs quickly. Again, welcome to everybody here. You guys are fantastic. So thanks for clicking the tap and the like button if you like the DLC. And uh, thanks for subscribing, too. 
Welcome to all the new subs. Your names are popping up like crazy, so that's nice of you all. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Burger King. Oh, wait. We should uh, probably do that. That's an important thing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, when all the states release, it'll drop to 99. You know, I don't know how long they'll get in this game. Craig, thanks for subscribing. Texas is like the next big state I think they'll do. Because not only are they, are they marketing to Americans, but they're also marketing to the world. So the world knows a lot about, you know, the world is well aware of Stay Texas. Right and then exit right. And uh, I don't know how they would, like, market Idaho or... Right. um. What else is, like, nearby? Like, oh, I don't know, Colorado, Colorado? Subscriber shout out. I don't know what they would do next. Like, I don't know of big industries that they would go for. But I think it would, I think first it would have to be Texas, and then maybe... Ah, maybe they can go east to Texas then next. Oh, I can't even see anymore. Idaho for potatoes? Yeah, I'm really excited for the potato haul. Stay right. Because when I think of trucking, I think of potatoes. No, I think of big logs and, like, heavy cargo. Stay right, and then turn right. Turn right. Thank you, sir. Super helpful. Ooh. One dollar and thirteen cents from Anonymous saying, Hi. Well, hi. Hello. How are you? Montana. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado. Those are some big open spaces, so those would have to it be more like... Nice ride. Big old crazy logging. You know, there'd have to be some reason to go there. They'd have to market it somehow. Okay, truck service is over. Meow. Now you can tell I drive way differently when, I, uh, when I'm when i driving my Mac R. I'm, like, much more cautious. I love that truck. Okay, let's go to service. Uh, what do we need? Just a little, just a little buffing. Just to add a just bu buff out the scratches in the paint. There you go. Okay, I won't customize this truck because I'm waiting for mods. I'm hoping that the Mac R becomes available very soon. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Alright, what do we got here? So we've discovered Vancouver, Tacoma, Seattle, Everett, and Bellingham. Let's see what we can go to next. Let's see what else is around here. Ooh, look at some of this big old cargo. Yeah, that's all just on the main road. That's boring. We don't want to go south, we want to go east now. Let's try to go east. What, what do we got? Eureka, Lakeview, no. Wow, that's a, that's a long distance. Look at, look at, we can just stay up here now. This is awesome. Washington has the largest potato production plants in the U.S., probably because of the Idaho next door. They ship them across the border. Let's see, Olymp oh, here we go. Olympia. Oh, that's kind of nearby. I want to go west or east. Where's uh, like OMAC and Grand Coulee? Give me some. Give me something to Grand Coulee. What do we got? Nothing. Oh, there we go. Gasoline. Okay, that's a pretty easy haul. Well, that, that that oh, that's perfect. That brings us like right near Grand Coulee. What's the difference between these two? They're both. Oh, one is heavier. That's why. Okay, that seems like a good one. Oh, that's an interesting car transporter. Is that a tiny one? What the heck? That is the tiniest little car transporter I've ever seen in the game. All right, let's take a look at Freight Market 2. I think we'll take that one, but I just want to see what's nearby. See if we can find some... Oh, what was that? Oh, a log stacker for... How heavy is that? 119,000 pounds. Whew! That is crazy. Olympia. Okay. Oh, oh, cool. Oh, that's just some empty pallets. Darn. I want both interesting cargo and new location. It can be hard to find, but I think the the gasoline is going to be the best that we'll find. So let's go with that one then. That was what page two. So long as it didn't refresh like it usually does. Uh, it probably did. Tacoma. Oh, there it is. Never mind. It's just from the city. One city down. 
go with the heavier cargo. Remains 16 hours. Oh, yeah, if I start this cargo now, it's probably going to, like, expire by the time we're done. All right, everyone, I'll come back in a couple of hours for some more looks here at the uh, Washington DLC and also the Forestry DLC. So that was our first look, everybody. I'll be back in a couple of hours then uh, to kind of continue on playing. We'll do this in, like, uh, small little spurts because that, I think, makes it a little bit more enjoyable. So next we'll try to head east and haul some more cargo. Maybe we'll find some more Forestry cargo. And that should allow a little bit of pa uh, time to pass, so maybe some of the mods can be updated too. Some mods are pretty much ready to go. They just need to be, like, updated slightly for the for the DLC. So, all right, guys, thank you very much for joining me. If you haven't already, make sure you click or tap that subscribe button on your way out. And make sure you join our Steam group with the links down below. I'll be back maybe in about an hour for a continuation of the stream. So we'll play again a little bit later for the Americans too who might be at uh, work or whatnot now. So I'm glad to be here. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. You are all wonderful. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, Death Login Road and all the other cool challenges. Maybe we'll find some more. So we'll uh, see what else uh, wonders hold true here in the Washington DLC. There's quite a lot yet to explore, so we've only scratched the surface on what seems to be a very in-depth and detailed DLC. We've already seen some wonderful bridges and uh, a lot of cool a lot of cool stuff. Can't believe it. So, all right, I'll see you all uh, next time, everybody, just a couple hours. So make sure you join me back. Make sure you click or tap that notification bell. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for reading the title and the description in their entirety. And I will see you all in just a little bit for a continuation of the DLC. Thanks for being here, everybody. See you soon. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Round of applause. Yeah. All right. I will see you all soon. <laughs>